welcome to another edition of Rock's Garage. I'm your host, Kevin. On this episode, we're going to show you how to install a brake pad, part number LGT138, on this 2011 Club Car DS. Now before we get started, let's take a look at the items that are included, as well as all the tools necessary to perform the installation. Now here's what's included with your brake pad switch. You'll receive the brake pad itself, as well as all necessary mounting hardware and some zip ties. Now both of these components are available as part of the Build Your Own Light Kit Package as the option B1, or you can purchase them individually. Now that we've taken a look at what's included, let's move on to the tools necessary to perform the installation. Now since there are two ways to attach the brake pad to the brake switch, we're going to show you each set of tools required to perform both installation types. Now first, if you're going to just use the screws to attach the brake pad to the brake switch, you'll need a cordless drill with a Phillips screw tip. Or if you're going to use the rivets that are included, you'll need a cordless drill with a 3 16th drill bit. And a rivet gun is optional if you're going to use the larger of the two sets of rivets that are included. Now that we've discussed all of the tools necessary, we're ready to begin our installation. Now before we begin installing our brake pad, we want to mention that we've previously installed our deluxe wire harness as well as some other accessories. Now we want you to understand that if you're going to be doing this as a complete installation, before you begin anything, you want to make sure that if you have an electric cart, your tow run switch is in the tow position, and no matter what kind of cart you're working with, make sure your batteries are disconnected. You want to make sure your batteries stay disconnected until all accessories have been installed. Now before you can attach your brake pad to your brake switch, you need to decide which of the installation methods you wish to use. Now there are three types of mounting hardware that are included in the kit. You have Phillips head screws, push rivets, and pop rivets. Now the Phillips head screws are going to be the easiest installation method. All you need to do is center your brake pad on the brake switch and simply attach the pad by using the provided six Phillips head screws. Now for the two rivets, if you wish to use the pop rivets, you're going to need a rivet gun to install. The push rivets, no special tools required. Now for both, you want to center the pad on the switch, drill all six holes out with a 3 16 inch drill bit, and then attach the rivets as required. Now you want to go ahead and center your brake pad on the brake switch. Once you have it lined up where you want it, you will then attach it to the brake switch using whichever mounting option you decide. Now since we're going to be installing the time delay brake switch on this cart in another video, we're not going to permanently attach the brake pad as to not damage the brake switch that's already in place. Once you have your brake pad attached to your brake switch, we need to locate the brake switch connector on our deluxe harness and route it up along the brake switch so that we can make our connections. Now there will be an additional wire running alongside the brake switch connector on the deluxe harness. This wire will not be used for this installation. Now once you have your connections made, you can route your wiring back down under the cart and secure all loose wiring away from any moving parts. Once you have reconnected your batteries, you want to go through and check the functionality of all the accessories that you have installed. Once you're satisfied that everything is functioning properly, That'll complete the installation of our brake pad, part number LGT138, on this 2011 Club Car DS. Now be sure to check out our other installation videos on how to install the voltage reducer, deluxe harness, and other accessories. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.